chosen C, and this is the correct answer. This says that water moves in this direction from A to B, and ethanol moves in this direction from B to A. The reasons have to do with going from higher fugacity to lower fugacity. We have pure water here, and we have water that's diluted by ethanol. So they're at the same temperature, but the fugacity of water in this system, the first approximation is the mole fraction of the water times the fugacity of pure water at 45 degrees. The fugacity here is the fugacity of pure water at 45 degrees when we start. So this fugacity for water is higher than this fugacity, so water moves from left to right. It's not related to total amount of water on the right side, but it's related to concentrations, and fugacity is the ultimate determinant of mass transfer. On the other hand, ethanol has a fugacity on the right side, again, a mole fraction times if you gas the a pure ethanol, there's no ethanol on the left side. So ethanol is going to remove from the high fugacity to the low fugacity. And this mass transfer will take place until we get to equilibrium. And we have the same fugacities for ethanol on both sides. And the same fugacities for water on both sides. Since they're at the same temperature, this means we end up with the same concentrations on both sides.